Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see how to create a build pipeline using the YAML option. So we have seen the same in our previous video, but we have created a build pipeline using some uh, classic editor option, right? So from where we have configured all the stages and jobs and agents and everything, right? So we have one more option called YAML option. So what is YAML? So you can see this YAML, right? So this is a YAML uh, ref uh, schema reference. So they are recommending uh, you have to use this YAML for the better practice. You can see this is the best way to get started with the YAML pipeline. Okay. So today we'll create one build pipeline using this YAML option. Okay. So whenever you, you create this uh, YAML option, right? So there will be one YAML file be created and it will be pushed to your repository automatically. Okay. So we'll see on this. So if you see the pipeline structure, right? So what is YAML file? So YAML file is similar to your Jenkins file, right? So in Jenkins also, when you go for a... Um, declarative pipeline so we'll be writing some pipeline in the in the jenkins so that will be converted as a jenkins start file and it will, it will it will be pushed to your repository right the similar way so in azure devops we follow this yaml file okay so the syntax would be like this so it is pipeline and the stages and the jobs and respective steps okay it's similar to the jenkins file i think so but if there is any difference between jenkins file and this yaml file if you guys i mean know about this difference please uh, feel free to upload it in the comments Okay, so this is a YAML file. So we'll go to project. Okay, this is a build pipeline. So you have to come to this uh, pipeline tab and you can click on this new pipeline. Okay, so as soon as I click on the new pipeline, what we'll see? So it will ask where is, where is your code, right? So in our case, so in our last video, we have seen this uh, integrated with this GitHub, right? So we were taking our code from the GitHub. So today in this scenario, I have uh, posted some code to my Azure repository itself. Okay, so I will take this Azure repository as my code, uh, I mean, source code management. Okay, so I will click on this one. So before that, you can see this is using the YAML option, right? So in our previous video, we have went with this uh, classic editor option. So where we have to uh, create our own steps and, and uh, stages and everything, right? So here we have selected this GitHub on previous video and we have, I mean, we have configured all the things manually. I mean, manually in the sense, so, so like this, right? So we have selected this Maven template and this tips and all we have added. So now when it's come to this YAML option, okay, so we'll go back. Okay, so here you can see to create a pipeline without YAML file. Okay, so this is for YAML file creation. So click on this option. So it will ask for your, I mean, it will be listed your all repository here. So as of now, I have only one repository in my Azure, I mean, Azure GitHub repository. So I'm clicking on this option. This is my project. Okay, so this is my project name. Test ng metrics is my project name. So I will click on this one. Again, it will ask for the template. Okay, what kind of uh, pipeline you want to configure? Okay, so in this case, uh, we are using this testing framework. So I will select as a Maven. Okay, as soon as I click on this Maven, you can see one YAML file is created, right? By the name of Azure Pipeline.yaml. So before that, I will go to my repository. So this is my repository location. Okay, this is a project that we have configured here. Okay, test ng metrics is a project name. So here you can see there is a no uh, YAML file as of now. Okay, so we have only this SRC folder and get ignore and form.xml and test xml everything, right? So here we don't have any YAML file now. So what we'll do now, we'll come here. Okay, these are the YAML file. Okay, so these are the steps. I mean, uh, these are the syntax. Okay, so simply you can come here and you can check for this YAML schema. Okay, so this is YAML schema. Okay, if you want to build some... Um, YAML, I mean, YAML file manually also, it's possible you can create it and you can upload to the your repository. Okay, so by default, it will look like this. Okay, name and resource, everything. So for example, we'll go to Maven uh, structure, I mean, Maven project. And from where we can uh, see all the Maven uh, kind of, okay, one second on this one. Okay, Maven pipeline build task. This is the one we have to go. And here you can see this is a YAML snippet for Maven project. Okay, so this is a Maven project and it will task us a Maven at the rate three and input we have to give. Input is Maven file, I mean, your pom.xml file, right? So where this, I mean, this is mandatory to run our Maven project. From pom only, we'll execute, we'll, we'll configure all the script in the pom.xml file. We'll run from the, by using Maven commands, right? So that's a command, I mean, that's a file path we have to, I mean, file name that we have to pass it here. And after that, what's our goal? Like a Maven clean or Maven pack, you can pass as a package or clean test, clean verify anything you can pass. And there are some optionals. Uh, I mean, there are some other uh, parameters also available. Like this all comes under the optional one. Okay. 
So this is for I mean generating some uh, J unit reports, and this is like publishing the J unit result through our false indicator. I mean there are so many uh, parameters that we have. You can configure anything, but these are the optional. You can see everything comes under the optional, right? Okay, so this is how the YAML file look for the Maven project. So we'll come to back. We'll come back to this project creation. I mean build creation. So here you can see the steps, right? So trigger main. So what is the image that we have to use here? I mean by default it is taking the Ubuntu image, but in we will modify this to Windows. Okay. So here you can see list of images uh, that I use the Azure DevOps. Okay. So here you can see by default it is taking the Ubuntu image. Uh, we'll for our case we'll go for this Windows one. Okay, so I will replace this. I will copy this Windows uh, 2019 and I will pass it here. Okay, we don't want to run on the Ubuntu machine. We will run on uh, Windows machine itself. Okay, after that, you can see these are the steps and these are the tasks, right? So that's what we have seen in the previous one, the syntax, YAML syntax, right? Okay, so these are the syntax, pipeline, stage, job, and step. Okay, so here you can see the step, right? I mean, these are the main and everything. So in the step, what, what is taking? Maven at the rate three. That's what we have seen here, right? So the Maven syntax, I mean, for YAML pipeline. So task is Maven at the rate three. And here you can see inputs. What are the input that we are passing here? We are passing this palm.xml file and gold and some other, some other uh, inputs also we are passing here. By default, it is coming like a Java version and the results, uh, if you want to publish the JNU result as a true, and what is the goal? Goal is a package. I mean, Maven clean test, something you can pass, but I'm just leaving as a package itself. Okay. So after this, uh, we are done with this one. This is, this is automatically generated since because we have selected the Maven uh, template, right? So now you can save this one. Okay. It will ask you to commit directly to the master branch. So if you have any other branch, you can, I mean, specifically tell the branch to push this code. But in our case, I have only one master branch here. I don't have any other branch. So this automatically this Azure pipeline.yaml file will be pushed to my repository. Okay. I will save this now. You have to select this commit directly to the master branch. Okay. So if you want to change this option, I mean, this is a commit message. You can type anything you want. Okay. I, I will simply like a tell, okay. Adding YAML file. Okay. So I will click on this save button. Okay, now this pipeline is ready. So you can come back and you can see in the all the tabs. So if you go to the all the tab, this is a pipeline that we have created now, test ng metrics. Okay, so when you come back to this repository, I will refresh the screen and now you can see the YAML file will be created here. Yeah, so here you can see this is just now we have committed these changes. Okay, so when you click on this one, the same file, whatever we seen in the, uh, the build creation, the same file will be here also. Okay. So now what I will do, we'll go and, and we'll build the project. I will open this uh, build. Okay, so you have to click on this run, I mean, run pipeline button. And it will ask for, okay, what is your branch? Uh, this is by default, it's a master branch. If you have any variables, you can add. So in this case, uh, we'll simply click on this run button and let's see. So what we have done, so it will not do anything. It will just uh, run our, our uh, project and it will create the on JNUT report. So that is what we have given in the YAML file. These are the kind of steps that we have given. Okay. So now you can see this job is started now. Okay. We'll wait for some time. The, I mean, uh, to complete this job. I mean, to complete this build execution. Okay. It has initialized the job. So next step would be check out from the repository. After that, it has to run the Maven command. Right. So before running the Maven command, it will check for the Maven version. The system, I mean, uh, the container or the system, right? So basically, it is running on some container, some Docker machine. So it will check for this particular uh, Maven is exist or not. So in our case, I mean, we have some uh, version Maven already exists. So it will run the Maven package. I mean, uh, the, the goal command, right? So here we are using the package command, which again will build the project. I mean, execute the project, right? So you not always like a package. You can pass Maven clean test or verify anything you can pass. So now it started the, I mean, build is started now and it will download all the artifacts from the Maven Central. So we'll wait for some time, it will, it will take some time. I mean, still it is downloading all the dependencies from the Maven Central. It will take some time. So I have some uh, bad internet connectivity uh, issues. So that's the reason it's taking too much time. In your case, if you have some uh, good bad internet connectivity issue, then it will work fine. It will download automatic, I mean, very fast.
so here now you can see the test is started right so you can see the test right so the test is started and we can see the uh, chrome driver getting launched yeah so here you can see the chrome driver was started successfully i mean you cannot see the gui since we are running in the cloud i mean uh, docker container so this is a chrome driver was started i mean our test is basically started right so i have i think uh, five test cases on this project let's see okay, the first test is i mean the first uh, test is started and one more time you can see one more chrome driver also started the second test started running you can see all the consoles are getting printed so here you can see we have total five test cases and everything is passed there are no failures and no errors okay so the job is done so everything is done and it will i mean so now it's come to here it is generating some report okay so this is a report builders like so these are the commit message and everything finalize job and check out the thing things and when you go to this maven you can see the uh, the entire console right so here you can see the build is success and it is published the test results right so the test results what we have selected j unit test results okay so we'll go back to the project now and you can see this is a success right so when you go to this test step you can see this j unit test reports everything is passed right 100 percentage is passed so now uh, if we want to generate some other report so this is a default report that come from the azure devops so we don't have much uh, default report so when you go to here um, in the maven dependency then you can see it here it is by default it is directing to the jnut report right so here um, i think we we have some uh, i mean we have only few uh, reports that comes from the default one if you want some other um, HTML report, then we have to go for an extension. Like uh, so, when you when you do the uh, some HTML report and all, right? So we'll we'll go to Jenkins and we'll add some plugins, right? The same thing yeah, here also. By default, it will give you some JUnit report, JUnit report, XUnit report, or something like this. We have. So I don't, I'm not getting that report. So maybe we have to add one more task. I think. Okay, so we we'll, we'll try to add one more task and let's see. So it will be like a publish. Uh, so under the published results, yeah, published test results. So here you can see that, yeah. So here we can see the test results format, like a N unit, X unit, a VS test. Only this file format are available by default. Okay. So I will remove this one. Okay. So by default in the Maven, they are defaulting to the J unit results. Okay, so here we can see the results. Now, now additionally, if you want to build, I mean, we want to generate some other HTML report, like external report. There are so many reports are available, right? So for that one also, we can, we can uh, click on this add one. So I'm simply search for a reports here. Okay, so here you can see this uh, published Cucumber report and we can generate some Postman HTML report. And there are some plugins are available. Okay, so we can use this one also. So if, if something is not missing, like you want to generically build some HTML report in the Azure DevOps, right? So I will show you that one as well. So this is how we have created one, um, I mean, one build pipeline using the YAML uh, option, right? So now we'll go to this edit pipeline. So when you go to this edit pipeline, so usually, so this is, this is one more project that we have created yesterday, right? So I will go to projects. So this is a project that we have created last time, right? So uh, this is a one. So when you come here and when you go for a edit option, so here you can see this is different. Like uh, we, we have defined this all the job agent steps, right? So these are the steps that we have defined one. I mean, these are the tasks basically, right? So this is the one we have added. And uh, I mean, this came from default then since we have selected the Maven template. So this one and all, I, I just added this clicking on this button and I have added this task manually. Okay, so when you go for an edit option for this project, it will give you steps like this. Okay, so if I go for edit, you can see these are the steps that we can see. Okay, this is for classic editor option. So when it's come to the YAML file, so I, I did the same on this project. I went to this edit button and you can see again, this is opening in the YAML file. So it is it will not open in the, this mode because this is a YAML file uh, project that we have created. This is a classic one. Okay, so we whatever you have to, I mean, uh, add as a step, you have to add as a YAML command. Okay, I mean, not a command in the YAML file only as a steps. 
Okay, so for example, I will go to my previous project. So this is a step for publishing the HTML report. I am trying to publish some HTML report in the same uh, project. So for this one, right? So you have to convert this as a YAML uh, structure, right? So if you, I mean, if you if you know how to write YAML structure and all, you can create it. Otherwise, you can click on this view YAML option. Okay, so once you click on this view or YAML option, you can see the steps are converted here. Okay, you can simply copy this one and we'll go back to the current project. So here, after the, I mean, this one, so you can add one more step. Okay, so here I will add one more task as a step. Okay, so this is one more step. What we are doing here, we are just generating one report, HTML report to this public, I mean, uh, this particular project. And we are exposing as a, on artifact okay so artifact in the sense nothing so we have built some project and we have dropped the artifact right so artifact is a basically jar file or image file that you can pass across to the next next releases okay the same way you have to select this uh, so how do we manually select this one you have to click on this button and you, you just simply type publish uh, option here so here you can see this publish artifacts right so pipeline artifact you have to select this one so here i have configured all the things Okay, so you can you can give any name if you want. And this is my HTML file path directory. Okay, so in my project, so where my HTML reports is generating, I mean, getting generated, this is my HTML report. Okay, so for this project, I'm using this uh, testng metrics report, which we already covered as part of uh, different report uh, generation playlist, right? So there I have, uh, I mean, put the video about this, how to generate the testng metrics HTML report. I'm generating this one and it will be, I mean, exposed as an artifact. Okay. So I have copied this command. This is a YAML command I have copied and I have pasted it here. Okay. So now what we'll do this case. So in the last time, what it does, it was executing our build and it was a report, I mean, generating some JNIT report, right? So now this time it will generate one more artifact for the reporting. From there, you can download the report and you can see the HTML report. Okay. So I have uh, updated this command now and I will simply save this one. Okay. So it is while you are saving, it, it's asking for a commit because we are directly accessing this file from our repository, right? So we have to, I mean, commit this changes to our repository as well. Okay. There is, I mean, this is a default commit message coming update Azure pipeline for Azure, I mean, um, Azure pipeline YAML file for Azure pipeline. Okay. So I will save this file automatically. It will be committed to my my Azure dev repository, right? So here you can see, again, I will go to my repository here. So here you can see, this is just now uh, the commit went, right? Update of this one. So when you click on this YAML file, you can see the changes. These are the steps that we have recently added for publishing the report, HTML report. Okay, so we'll come here. So here you can see, so this is a task. Okay, so the task is like, here again, it's a Maven. This is a publishing the artifact ID, artifact, okay? So display name, you can give anything and input. Input is like a where is your HTML path, right? So I have, I mean, use of this pattern for locating my HTML report. Okay, so this is a path for my where my HTML uh, is exists. And after that, it is exporting as an artifact by the name of report. So this artifact name also, you can give anything. So for this one, I have given as a report. Okay, so we have changed this commit to the repository now. We have committed this one. So now we'll come back to this uh, same project and we'll try to execute this one. Okay, so I will click on this one. Okay, steps is already defined. One second. I mean, it executed automatically through the individual CI since we have made the commit. I will delete this one. Okay, we'll run one more time manually. Okay, so there is some change I have made already. So whenever there is a commit is going on to my repository, it will run the build automatically. I will run this again one more time. Let's see what error we are getting here. So while passing YAML file, steps is already defined. Okay, so we have made some changes in the YAML file that causing some problem. I'll go to edit option. Okay, so here we don't need these steps. That's the reason, okay. So now the YAML file looks clear. I will again save. So again, it will go as a commit only. Okay. So we have committed this one. Okay. Now come back to the project. Let's see. It will automatically start, I think. But I never done that uh, option. 
let let wait for some time it is triggering manually or i mean automatically or not if not we'll we'll trigger the uh, manually okay i'll come back from again so it is not triggered automatically i will i will run this pipeline manually okay i'm clicking on this run button so now we can see one more pipeline is created now so when you go back to your project workspace you can see this is a build one that we have already seen this is the one that recently started we have made uh, some changes on the yaml file it is started now we'll go to this job okay those this time we are not seeing any error here right so that was some uh, mistake in the yaml file i have corrected that one so now you can see all the i mean jobs are getting started okay so it it's doing the checkout from the repository okay again same things all the dependencies will be downloaded from the maven central and it will it will execute our test okay so after that here you can see this publish pipeline artifact right so this is a step that we have added so when you go back i mean to the previous build okay so i will go back to the previous build so this is our previous build right so there you cannot see that option okay so here you can see uh, it is initializing the job check out from the repository maven command i mean we are executing the build after that we are check out right so i will uh, one more tab i will open and i will show the comparison okay so this was our first build right so i will go back to the second build so here you can see one more step is getting added uh, recently i mean uh, due to this yaml file we have added this uh, publish artifact right so here you don't see that one so after maven it is post check i mean post job check out right so here you don't see that one i mean here you can see this pipeline artifact right so this artifact task that we have added now through the yaml file generating a html report okay so we'll wait for the execution to be complete i mean the build to be success or uh, to be completed after that we can we can go to this project or space i mean the build or space and let's see if some html reports are uh, generated or not so in this case we are generating the test ng metrics html report not any other like extend or i mean you can you can publish any report that you want okay so you have two options so here you can see i mean you don't see that uh, publish this step right so publish pipeline artifact okay this is a step that we have recently added to the yaml file and we push the code and we are executing our build so this is how we create the build pipeline in the azure devops so two options you have so you one you can uh, go by using this uh, classic editor option where you have to configure all your uh, steps and tasks manually okay so one more thing is using the yaml file so where you can uh, use this i mean the setup for yaml file steps then you can directly pass those one okay so go on i mean uh, take a look on this azure devops it will be clear i mean very clear options uh, you can you can learn yourself and you can set up all the things for azure pipeline yourself okay so i mean they have given all the um, tasks like if you want to build for some gradle and so everything it will be here so for for our case we are using this maven so that's the reason i just saw this maven uh, this one i mean uh, yaml syntax snippet these are the snippets and there are different arguments also we can pass like so these are the optional arguments that we have okay so after that okay so still it is executing still it is running actually so we'll wait for the completion yeah the test is started now you can see this is a build number 2 and the test is started after that it will publish the pipeline artifact artifact which we define as a html report for this case right once this is done then we'll go to this uh, workspace i mean uh, this build pipeline workspace and we can see some html report generator okay so our test is done there are no failures here you can see there are no failures out of five test cases or i mean everything is passed so now we can see okay publish artifact is uh, giving some error artifact name input report okay so we have to define the path here okay so the path that you have given right so that is not a valid one so it was not able to uh, generate the artifact okay so we are getting only the j init report okay so now here you can see that it does not exist the path right so we have to particularly give the uh, the correct valid path okay so when you come here you can see i have so this is a manual i mean classic editor option that i have created one uh, html report 
Okay, so what I have selected here, here I have come here. So this is my folder structure, right? So in the folder where I'm, I'm getting this HTML report, this is this is a place that I'm getting the HTML report. Okay, I have to give this particular path. So that's the reason. So I have used this pattern option here. So that's the reason this one are able to recognize. So if you give the right path like this, it will be generate the report. Okay, so now if I click this YAML file, okay, so this is the changes that we have to make into the YAML file. Once, uh, okay, I will come to this YAML file. Okay, so here you can see. So I have given this uh, pattern path. Okay, so that is not working. So if we replace with this path, right? So instead of uh, giving the pattern, so if I copy this one, and if I replace with these things, it will work fine. Okay, so I will show you how we, how this report look like this. So in this case, I have already uh, run and I have generated some report. I will show you the report. So here you can see. We are running the, I mean, we are running the build and we are publishing the artifact by the name of draw and one more artifact also we are generating by the name of this uh, report. Okay. So now I will go to, go back to this uh, project and I will show you how to, I mean, the report will be generated here. Okay. So here we can go to this one. Okay. This is a build. And when you go to this uh, test, right? So the test will come, give you the default uh, J unit results. Okay. In the summary, you can see this uh, two published and one consumed, right? So when you click on this two published, so here you can see there are two artifacts that generated, right? So one is a build artifact, which is basically image. Okay, artifact is, I mean, created by the name of draw. And you can see one more test ng report, right? So the report is coming from, okay, I will open this and I will show you again. Okay, this is a, this is a pipeline that I generated report. I will go here and I will go for edit option. Okay, so here what we are doing, we are generating one uh, artifact by the name of draw that you can see it here. And we are generating one more uh, artifact by the name of a test ng report, right? So that is what coming in my published button. Okay, so here you have to click on this. These are the artifact bucket, right? So when you click on this one, it will navigate to the particular artifact tab and you can see one is draw. Okay, this is a draw name and this is a test engine report, right? So you can see the test engine report is generated here. When you click on this one, you can see this HTML report, right? So when you click on this, it will download automatically and you can open that report. Okay, so here we have option called like uh, one is download artifact and copy URL. So I have downloaded this one. I will open this report now. Okay, now you, here you can see we, we, we were running all the five test cases, right? So, I mean, in our case, we are getting some error due to this uh, file path location. So in previous, uh, I, which I have tried, so this is a report looks like this. So all the reports you can see. I mean, we were having the five te total test cases and everything is running. So this is how we generate the HTML report and publish to the DevOps, Azure DevOps, okay? So here we have a mistake. So we have to give this path. So instead of this one, I have made like a, so something like this pattern and match I have given. So which which giving some error on this uh, build pipeline. Okay. So make sure you are giving the right path. So here I mean, I mean this one not able to locate this HTML uh, file. So that's the reason we got this error. Otherwise it would have created the uh, this HTML report and it would have dropped into the artifact location. Okay. So which this one I tried in the classic mode. So which was working fine. Okay, so if you try with this uh, file path, right? So definitely it will generate the report and it will be placed to the artifact bucket. Okay, so this is how we create the build pipeline using the YAML option. And we have seen some under report, HTML report also we have seen, right? So if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to ask in the comment section. So not so in our case we have seen this um, test ng metrics report right so if you want to uh, configure the extend report then you have to give the particular path of your extend report HTML file okay so that's all it will create and I, I told you like so if you want to integrate your cucumber report or allure report also possible okay so when you type allure report here it will be coming as allure but I never tried with this one okay so you can you can see a number of reporting uh, available as a extension. Okay, so this one also I will show you. I mean, uh, so somehow I have created this. Uh, 
postman uh, report also so postman report i don't think i have right now but i will show you some reports uh, for okay this one also i have a test in jnu default report okay i will show maybe i will cover the next video on how to generate some uh, postman html extra report to the azure devops how to publish that one okay so this is how we generate this one so if you don't have certain plugin then you can you can go for this option called uh, export i mean publish as an artifact for your report and uh, all the other stuff and you can download those report directly from uh, your pipeline okay so it will be always placed as a artifact packet okay so so we have this is a place where you can see the html report okay so you have to publish as an artifact then you can get this report okay this is one uh, which we i mean our build project so we have built out project and we have converted as an artifact and we are dropping to the drop location okay so here i mean everything we will have so from this one so this is the image that we have created artifact right so this artifact can be passed to across the all the releases like a uh, qa uh, dev uat prod and all other environment will pass as a release pipe okay so we can pass those artifact for the source code of i mean source for a release pipeline okay so we'll come to the release pipeline and here we'll select the new uh, release so in the release pipeline we have to pass the artifact id i mean artifact image so here you have option to add artifact right so here you have to select the artifact and here you can i mean not only artifact you have so many options here like you can directly again pass the code from i mean your source from uh, azure repository github repository or jenkins anywhere you can do it but for our case so in our next video we'll see how to set up the release pipeline from whatever the artifact that we have created okay so we will cover this in our next video okay so today we have seen this how to create a build pipeline using the yaml option and we have generated some html report okay so in this case i am not able to generate the report since we have given the incorrect path okay so if you give the correct path then the report will be generated automatically okay if you guys have any 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 deviation from my video or if i am i am i am conveying something wrong please feel free to correct me in the comment section okay thank you guys